It's Halloween week, and we're bringing you a treat every day with a look at Joe Biden's White House of Horrors, what we're seeing in Biden's America, a record-breaking number of illegal immigrants at the southern border being released into our country unaccounted for, more COVID cases, more crime, the deadly catastrophic exit from Afghanistan that killed 13 of our service members, one that our weak, dishonest top generals still have yet to fully acknowledge and take responsibility for. Surging crime throughout the country, making mothers feel unsafe in their own homes, making stores close in blue cities with no real repercussions for thieves. Sky-high inflation hurting Americans already hit hard by the t pandemic with painful prices at the store registers and gas pumps. He said he would be the president of unity, but Biden and the leftist policies have only aimed to divide us. Rampant wokeism pervading our schools, our society, with blatant hypocrisy by the left. They're zealots. Their mob doing everything they can to erase American history, our culture. Every day this week, we'll take a close look at all the things Sleepy Joe has managed to mess up in the short time he's been in office. The White House of Horrors, folks. We'll talk to Dog the Bounty Hunter about the alarming rise in crime all over the country. We'll talk to Texas Governor Greg Abbott about the chaos at the border. And to Adam Carolla about the rise of wokeism. We start today with a look at Biden's self-made crisis, the sluggish supply chain, and why it's getting hard to keep the shelves stocked, even as the Washington Post tells us, just be less spoiled, lower our expectations, expect less. This crisis, it's hurting not just everyday Americans, but the impact on businesses, small and large, it's beyond the numbers. It's insurmountable, and the fallout will be felt for months, maybe years to come. Stu Leonard, president and CEO of Stu Leonard Supermarket in Norwalk, Connecticut, is here to talk to us about the real impact of Biden's supply chain crisis. Stu, long time, my friend. We've, we've done TV together for the better part of 20 years. And again, we're back at this situation. We've talked about high prices. Stu, have you ever seen it? You've probably seen higher inflation, but have you ever seen it move this, this fast? No, and that's a good point right now. I think, you know, I've been in the business for 50 years. We have a family business here in the New York metro area. And... And I've never seen such disruption in the food supply and pricing as we have just over the last uh, three months. You know, Sue, we're, we're, we're looking at you and your beautiful store, and, and I asked to have a couple of props yeah. there because uh, we're, we're, we're blown away at some of the prices. That gallon of milk right there, give us an example of how those prices have gone up and maybe the, the, well, the beef in front of you as well, too. You know what? There's some things that have gone up. There's some things that haven't gone up. So, you know, I, I wouldn't say there's skyrocketing prices. I wouldn't say customers have to be shocked or alarmed right now. Stay calm right now. OK, prices have gone up a little bit. We buy direct from our farmers a lot, uh, ranchers, fishermen. And what they've all said is, look, you know, they're family businesses. And they said, I, I got to put fuel in my tractor every morning. The cost has gone up, obviously, of fuel. A labor cost for them to have people pick the product and cut the meat and so forth and get the lobsters has gone up. So their labor cost. So what I've been saying to all of them is, look, I'll split the difference with you. I'll go 50-50 and absorb half of it. So I don't think you're going to see anything crazy out there in the market. What I would say is you get some good deals like ground beef right now. Uh, ground beef is, is stable. The things you want to watch out for are things like this guy right here. This is one of those big Domahawk steaks. The hotels are buying them. The restaurants are buying them. You know, the cruise ships, the, the, they're, they're in high demand right now. Uh, and when there's high demand for something, the price goes up. Same thing with lobsters right here. The lobster rolls have gone up in price. Lobsters at a, a high. But then you look at things like this fresh uh, salmon right here. That stayed the same in price right now. So... Smart shopping is the key right now. Look around at deals every week um, and freeze stuff. You know, you can freeze things. We learned that during a pandemic. So I wouldn't say to everybody, I wouldn't get overly over worried about it. Um, I would say uh, stay calm and I think we'll work through this. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.